Here's a, uh, another video on these HP workstations. Um, I uh, hooked it into this MCO lathe, which is stock. Um, this is an MCO PC, MCO Compact 5 PC. And uh, what's cool about this is um, it actually isn't 100% normal step and direction interface to the printer port. They actually have a octal latch on the input, and um, normally what people do when they use other CNC control, like mock or something, they pull that chip out and put a bunch of jumpers in to make it uh, um, to make it work with step and direction. With Linux CNC, I was able to um, generate that um, that latch signal uh, at each time the step. Um, information changed. Uh, and so far it's been working working really well. Um, no major problems with that. And the other kind of cool thing I had hacked together in HAL was these machines with the original software that ran in DOS, um, they would actually uh, half step at low RPMs or at low feeds and then full step at um, higher speeds. So I actually did the same thing. I actually have two step generators, um, and when it's going slow, it runs a half step step generator. And then when it's going fast, after a certain point, I don't remember where, what the threshold was. I think it was around uh, 13 inches a minute. I'd have to look. Um, it switches over to the full step step gen so that it can go faster. because these steppers really suck. They're not hybrid steppers at all. They're, uh, I think, 72 steps per rev. I'd, I'm thinking. I don't remember. Um, so they're really quite old school. Um, but uh, for, for what it is, it works fine the way it is. Um, but anyway, I'm going to turn this on here. Oh, the other thing that this has is a 100 line encoder plus index. Um, it's, it's a single channel encoder, so it doesn't know which direction the spindle's going, but it gives enough resolution to do some really nice threading. Um, so I'm going to turn this on, and I am going to run this. This is a threading um, program. And what, what's happening now, it's waiting for index. So if I turn, so you can see it sinking the spindle. And now it's going back to the next pass. <laughs> I actually changed the program and didn't reload it. So I'm going to stop this here. Um, and reload the program. There we go. That looks better. I actually made it longer so that the thread longer so you could kind of see what it was doing. Um, so now if I run this again, now it's again it's waiting for index. And once it finds the index, then it'll start using the encoder, the hundred line encoder, to sync the axis with the spindle. And when it gets to the end, it'll go back to the start again. So if I do this, so what sucks about a single line encoder is it doesn't know which direction it's turning. So if I turn it either direction, it's going to come forward. Um, so it's fine for this, but because actually I am turning it the wrong direction right now. <laughs> but so if I turn this on, now it will. Uh, Cut the threads. But if I turn it off, halfway through, I can turn it by hand. So um, this is printer port. Uh, 100 line encoder is no problem with the printer port. Uh, I don't know what the maximum RPM would be. I'd have to do the math. But it's 
whatever the top speed of this is, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and it jogs around. Whoops, if I get out of the program. And this is set to 30 inches a minute, is what I think I ended up with, what seemed to be stable. So for this little lay that works really well, and it's printer port, and you don't have to make any modifications to the, the MCO. Um, and uh, we've made a lot of little parts on this. It threads really nice. I've made jigs, and well, you can see here, long thread that uh, the pitch was right on. And the cool thing about Linux CNC is you can combine, I don't know if you can see this, you can combine, uh, you can chain a bunch of G33 spindle synced motions together and create like, this is like a fusee almost, um, and then a regular thread. So, um, so yeah, this, uh, I think this is only run maybe, running a maybe a 50 microsecond base thread because it doesn't need much um, for the resolution of this. Uh, um, and I don't remember what the resolution is. It's metric, so I'd have to do the conversion in my head. <laughs> uh, so very happy with how Linux CNC is performing on this. Um, I do have a few threads like on CNC zone where I have the configs for this that kind of explains uh, how how it works without having to do any modifications to these MCOs. Um, and so I'll, I'll put a link in the description down below. But uh, the printer port really, I mean, it does really good for uh, entry level type um, control. Uh, it uh, definitely is a, it, you shouldn't be afraid of it because of other other um, machine control software. Linux CNC with a printer port is as stable as you can get. Um, it, I don't know if I've, I don't, I've never had anything go weird or wonky with Linux CNC. I mean, we have a, a machine that's got eight tons of cutting force that we're using Linux CNC for. And other than programming, like human error, we never had any issues with it. Um, so very happy with it. Anyway, so signing off now. See you guys. Talk to you guys later.